We did it. We finally did it. We've accomplished 12 years of schooling to get to this point. I mean, we've had some great teachers along the way, from Mr. Getz making U.S. history interesting, to playing with contact explosives in Mr. Severson's class, to Mr. Lissick, who, in my senior year, in my second year of having him as a math teacher, made me appreciate math. Slightly. <laughs> now, I have been racking my brains for a good send-off quote or something that we can all live by. I would like to share with you today the best advice I have ever received. You see, my grandfather was diagnosed with lung cancer a year ago last May, and my family visited him and my grandma a few weeks later. One afternoon, my sister, my grandfather, and I were sitting in the living room. Girls, my grandpa said, breaking the comfortable silence, you've got to live. Okay, grandpa, we replied, we'll try to do that. No, you don't get it, he said. You've got to live. You've got to grow up and live your life because you never know what it's going to end up being. Those words have stayed in my head for over a year now, and I can't help but think about how true they are. When we walked through those front doors four years ago, we had no idea who we would be now. We've made friends, we've lost friends. Hopefully the changing of friends was peaceful and natural as friendships do change. Even if it wasn't, we're stronger people now for what we have experienced in our short lives. Maybe the people with whom we are friends with now will be with us for the rest of our lives. This school, these people who you're sitting next to have changed you. So too have you changed the school and the people around you. My profound hope is that you've changed for the better. I hope that you can look at the person you were four years ago and look at yourself now and be proud of who you are. I hope that in the coming years you will continue being proud of who you are and never lose your muchness, as the Mad Hatter would say. My grandfather had no way of knowing when he was our age the number of people whose lives he would impact. At his funeral this past September, a good number of people had to stand because there were not enough chairs for the number of people who had come to pay homage to the man who had touched their lives. So, Simley High School, graduating class of 2013, live your life like my grandfather. Do something that you love. Do something that makes you happy. Do something that makes you want to get out of bed every morning. And don't worry about the consequences as long as you're truly happy with yourself and what you are doing because from now until the end of your life, the only thing you can do is live. Thank you.